And welcome back. Last week, the Senate Armed Services uh, Committee uh, passed a provision to, to be included in the National Defense Authorization Act that would require women to register with the Selective Service Administration for the military draft uh, and if they're going to college. It's kind of an interesting uh, proposal. Cynthia, in the name of equality, should women have to register for the draft and be forced to fight in foreign wars? Well, the simple answer would be yes, but there are nuances to it. I mean, number one, um, today's foreign wars are not your grandfather's or your father's foreign wars. They, they um, take more brain than brawn. And so women, are, are valuable, could be are valuable members of the armed forces. Um, they're valuable members now as volunteers and careerists. Um, I think there are some nuances to this that have to be examined and that have to do with the inequities in women's roles with family obligations, et cetera. Um, but on the face, I think it's definitely worth consideration for the sake of equality. Well, there, there are a lot of wounded war veterans from uh, Iraq and Afghanistan who don't, who don't believe that over the horizon warfare is the only way wars are being fought. And I think, you know, uh, we got, we, if we're, if we're going to say women are going to have a role and we, and women are volunteering to be in, in uh, the seals and other special forces teams uh, uh, they, I don't know if any have been successful in passing through the rigorous training, but women are well, going to some of those trainings, women are going to be drafted. They're going to fight. Yes. Not, Lori, what do you think? I heard a fantastic speech from Jesse Jane Duff, who is a retired female Marine. And she really makes the case to say that no, women should not be in combat. Women are not made physically the same way as men. It's a fact, it is physically proven. They have 40, women have 40 to 45% less muscle mass. They have 20% less lung capacity than men. Um, they should not be in combat. It is, um, they, can, they have more likelihood for compression fractures, for muscle, um, muscle damage and um, shoulder and spine injuries. It's just not, um, it, and you, you better bet that the Chinese would love to see us pass this because when, if they're women, they're gonna, they're, women are at a huge disadvantage in combat. I, can, I, can, I agree that there are ways that women can help, but they should not be in the draft, they should not be in combat. This is not, a, this is not the time to be um, a female suffragist kind of person. This is something that is actual fact. We need to protect our women, women's rights on this issue. Well, women's, the women's physicality question is something to consider for certain types of service, but so much of armed conflict is less boots on the ground and, and warfare has become much more technology. So do you agree, Cynthia, and that we should not be in combat? No, I think there are roles in combat for women. There are women in combat now and have been. There have been women in combat since the freaking crusades. And if that wasn't physical, I don't know what was. <laughs> well, well, when, they, when, I, you, when they're put up to the rigorous tests, uh, women, women most like most women will fail. I think in, in the, the uh, marine tests, uh, a woman has almost passed but has not been able to. And that is work. why there are, and that is why there are training pro programs that are to that are set up to match the requirements of the duties. Well, you know, the uh, part, part, part the of this is an is academic different. discussion because we because we haven't employed the draft in in nearly three decades. Right, but, I don't see it coming. But uh, there, well, I I think Period. there certainly <laughs> could be an op, a time when when we have another draft, and that's why we continue to keep the draft. I mean, the, the draft's not an anachronism because we want to have uh, a ready availability of of young. Uh, young people who would be available to serve. And what happens to the kids? What if they're what if they're moms and they have children and they have to go to combat or get drafted? Well, that's the that's the nuance that I mentioned earlier. I think you know, that there, 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 there are men who are eighteen who have children and yes. would would be forced to go. You know, would be forced to serve if they're if they were drafted. So, 
uh, this is this is an issue. Uh, I think it's kind of fascinating uh, the dividing line that uh, that is being drawn on whether or not to to support this proposal. Mm -hmm.